Northwestern is a is a very good football team, uh, very sound on, on both sides of the line of scrimmage. They can run the football. Uh, they can throw it uh, pretty good. They've got some, some uh, really good athletes at wide receiver and a very athletic quarterback. Defensively, uh, they're very stout defense. They're not uh, ranked as, as you know, early in the year, they, they were giving up more points than what they have been here lately. So it, it's a big challenge for our guys. Our guys know that. Uh, and, but we're, we're excited about, about getting ready for them uh, and, and look forward to, to playing them. You know, the thing we talk to our guys about now is every week, you know, every week's going to be tough. Uh, you, you get ready and you go. Southland Conference is a, is a, a very, very tough conference. And, and each and every week, uh, you, you, you need to get ready to play and, and get ready to step up. And I was proud of the way that the guys stepped up this past week. It was not a, you know, this past week was not a situation where the other team gave you the football game. It was a situation where you had to go at some point until you got, if you want there, ain't nobody going to give it to you. Uh, you you got to go get it. And, uh, and at, at the, we, we, they wound up and, and, and went and got it. And we need to, we need to do that from the get go this week uh, because we're playing a, a very good football team. You know, we're up in the booth and we're watching. I get, we get nervous. When you're like, if you have to punt out of your end zone, and unfortunately we were backed up against the goal line, field position was, while we moved the ball pretty well, you know, throughout the game and, and had a significant lead as far as total yardage goes, uh, field position was not necessarily in the Bears' favor. Do you feel any different punting out of your end zone as you do from maybe punting from the 30? Um, a, a little. You're not supposed to. It's supposed to all be the same. It's supposed to be consistent, same operation. Um, I, I find that, though, uh, punting out of the end zone gives you an extra sort of explosiveness and those kicks tend to be the further the farthest kicks um just you, try to get it off though and, and you get a little extra adrenaline a little boost, boost. Yeah. yeah a little yeah. boost uh, so what uh is there any way to simulate that in practice i mean where you're under that that kind of pressure it's hard it's hard yeah. and, and there's there's no real way to do it but and then in that moment you you feel it you know you, your blood starts pumping you you just got to get it off and you like those moments fires. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you live for them, yeah. So do you guys have uh, – you got some different wrinkles in there for, for Patrick, Coach? I mean, have you guys uh, – do you guys practice that kind of stuff a lot? We, we, we gotta, he's seen the arm. He's that's seen right. the arm. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, we, we don't want to give too much away. I understand. In case, in case I don't want you to. That's right. That's right. Yeah, we've got to – So is he a better runner or a better thrower? That's what I want to know. Can, he's a dual threat punter. He yeah. can, uh, he can right. run and throw. And, <laughs> yep. Yep. Can he Person, catch it? He can catch. Can he tackle? No, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not lack for confidence, obviously. No. That's no. good. Matt, did you have any trepidation about staying in town, close to home here, and, and going to college? No, nah, I was all about it. Uh, I'm a Conway boy, born and raised, and, you know, if I can spend four more years here, I'd do it I'd do it all over again if I had to. Did you Did you follow the Bears growing up at all? I mean, did you pay attention to what was going on over here? Uh, I did as much as I could. Uh, I was just kind of stuck in the Razorback bubble a little bit. Uh, I regret it. You know, there's there's some good football going on here in Conway, and uh, I think, you know, people are starting to notice that. Yeah. Um, anything that motivates you? Patrick was saying he gets a little extra juice when uh, when he's putting out of the end zone. Anything that gets you a little extra revved up during a game? Uh, if I ever get the chance to hit a deep field goal, uh, I love being able to just go out there. Uh, for some reason, those have been always easier for me. I hate short ones. Really? Uh, yeah. You know, it's just weird. I don't know why. Uh, it's like when I go play basketball at the Hyper, you know, I'm a three-point shooter. I like, being, <laughs> I like being far out and, you know, just pulling up and, and, and draining it. Yeah. Um, I still remember my freshman year uh, at Sanford. Uh, first kick. First kick I ever had. 52-yarder. 50. It was a 50 50, yarder. yeah. Um, right hash. Uh, T. Reed put it right on the money, and I just, you know, it was muscle memory. Yeah. Um, I just love those so much. Your incredible lives are what make Arkansas so special. That's why doing our part to keep you amazing is our mission. By providing the most skilled doctors and nurses to heal you from sickness or injury and giving comprehensive care to support your recovery, we're your guide to health. All so you can keep on giving, keep on inspiring, and keep on amazing. For the care that keeps you amazing, visit baptist-health.com. 
here I am back at UCA. This is where I got my start. Acting in plays, studying literature, writing scripts. Campus has grown so much in the last few years, and the technology is incredible. UCA is where I learned the craft of storytelling and got ready for a career in New York and LA. That's how I got here. Go here and go anywhere. Go UCA. My whole life, you know, I started at four years old. Before I was even old enough to play flag, my brother had me in the yard teaching me hold. So when it was finally my time to play, I was just ready. Uh, I think it got serious around high school, around like my sophomore year, though, my first year playing varsity. And, you know, from there, I just really started taking it serious. I just had a real crazy recruiting process. I was actually recruited uh, by uh, uh, Louisiana at Monroe, you know, and I had committed to them, but coach got fired, you know, late in the recruiting process, and UCA was one of the only schools who still offered me a scholarship, so, you know, after I seen the purple and gray football field, I was like, I think this would be on. <laughs> Damian Thompson, LT. Dallas Cowboys, yeah. most definitely. Have to go with LeBron James. Okay. Ray Lewis, if he was still playing. Okay. I'd like to make him miss. Yeah. <laughs> um, the new Atlanta Falcons Stadium. Okay. I think that'd be a cool place to play. Oh man, I just want to take take one from the one yard line. You know, in the fourth quarter, we desperately need a touchdown just off. A long run, you know, I like long, long run, so just a long run from the one yard line to win the game. Ah, man, just, just finesse my way through there a little bit and see that outside, and it's just a foot race from there. <laughs> ran track, ran a lot of track with football. Probably have to go with Drake in future. You know, I got a really big team. Yeah, that, that'll probably be my song. Gotta go remember the Titans. Um, I like playing a video game, you know, uh, spending time with family, you know, and just, just relaxing outside of football. I really want to coach on the high school level. You know, I think uh, a lot of my coaches back in high school had a you know, good impact on me, so I kind of just want to go back and do the same for some other kids. I know when I first got here, I used to always try to hit the outside. You know, I'm a speed guy. He was, hit the A-gap, brother. Kier is not out there. You know, hit the A-gap. So <laughs> I kind of know to hit the A-gap now. <laughs> At UCA, we have the second highest on-campus undergraduate enrollment in the state for a reason. Lots of reasons, actually. The University of Central Arkansas. Go here and go anywhere. What does it mean to be Southland strong? It's not just big wins. It's success in the classroom. And being engaged with service. Family. Passion. Integrity. Overcoming adversity. Hard work and dedication. Bettering people around you. Striving for excellence. Leadership and competition. On our campuses. And in our communities. We are Southland strong. Welcome into Turpin Stadium on the campus of Northwestern State University here in Natchitoches, Louisiana, as the number six Central Arkansas Bears will take on the one in five Northwestern State Demons. 
Weather could be a factor tonight. Let's head down to the field, check in with Monty Rowell, and find out a little more about that. Hey, Mon. I'll tell you, guys, the uh, weather uh, could be a factor, as you mentioned. Looking back to the south, uh, southwest, there's some broken clouds uh, and some blue sky, but we understand uh, that there could be uh, some showers and possibly a thunderstorm or two uh, come through the Natchitoches area later on this evening. Uh, game officials uh, here are a little worried about the potential of lightning this evening. Of course, you start dealing with lightning, they shut everything down uh, right away. So we got our eye on the sky uh, right now. Uh, really nice outside, about uh, 85 degrees. Winds out of the uh, south southwest at about uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Go, go ahead and get it teed up and get this thing underway before the weather gets here. Bring your own juice. Supply your own energy. Get started fast. Go. You be that guy that gets it started. Go. You be that guy that makes that special play to get everybody to go. Get it Let's started. Go. Yeah, it's all, baby. Ah. Here we go. It's all, baby. Woo. off in reverse now razzle dazzle cox to hildebrand downfield has a man roman gordon 45 40 he's behind the entire defense across the field 20 15 10 5 touchdown central arkansas and i was not ready for the flea flicker they handed it off to blackman flipped it to cox back to hildebrand downfield to gordon behind the defense we've been looking for that dynamic offense to return and guess what? It's back, baby. No need for a big kick return to get this offense energized. How about a little trickeration from Nathan Brown of that offensive staff? That's what we haven't seen all season, Justin. They've been saving it for the right moment, and that was it. Great job by Roman Gordon streaking down, staying just incognito enough to get behind the defenders. Stop, it's returned by Bell. Ball is on the turf around the 15-yard line, and Central Arkansas has it. The Bears have got it after a one-play, 81-yard drive for a touchdown, a pass to Roman Gordon on the ensuing kickoff. Bell coughs it up, and the Bears have recovered deep in Demon territory. And the field goal attempt by Cummins is up, and it's good. So the Bears don't miss the opportunity, but they don't get the seven they probably hoped for after getting the turnover. Nix, motion out to the left side. Three receivers now, screen back to the right side. Crossley gets a block. 45 midfield, 45-40, cuts it back to the inside, brought down inside the 30-yard line, a beautifully designed play for the Bears. Oh, Bakes, Crossley, throw it outside now. They got Brandon Cox, he loses it a better down the left sideline at the five, and he's upended there. They're gonna mark him down just shy of the five, I believe, but a beautiful play there. And there goes the alarm system, so that means we are gonna have a delay of game here because of the lightning in the area. And so we were hoping this would not happen, but in fact it has come to pass. And I will say I expected a delay to be relatively brief. All right, after a long delay, we welcome you back into Turpin Stadium here in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Bears lead it 10 to 3. That's the good news. The bad news is had a weather delay of an hour and 45 minutes. Those are words I never thought would escape my lips, Chris. And now we have the Demons' possession, second one of the night, as they fake it end around. Hands it off, and a loss on the play. Bears are all over it. And, boy, they are celebrating in the backfield. Eric Jackson continuing to make plays in the backfield. He has been a monster. Holgerson stepping up in the pocket, and he just goes down. He went down. And George Odom gets another sack. Odom has been on a hot streak in the sack department. Not a lot of crowd left over here from the long weather delay. The band over in the stands. Take it in the right. Holgerson, quarterback draw. Getting around the left side. Juan Jackson says, no, sir. Drops him down. They'll fake the handoff to him. Play action. Hildebrand. Time to throw over the middle. Wide open. Scored it at the 30. 25 20. One man to beat at the 10. Five. Into the end zone. Roman Gordon again. The second time tonight for the senior. And another touchdown for Roman Gordon. Slant over the middle. Wide open. No one around Roman Gordon. And a nice sell by Hayden Hildebrand on the fake sweep there to make sure the defense just had to think about it for one second giving Gordon plenty of time to get open for the touchdown. And what you saw there was that second gear he can kick it into. With one guy left to beat, Gordon kind of slowed down a little bit and accelerated all the way to the end zone. High snap, handoff. That missed time, everything. Jones dropped in the backfield, and a great job defensively. Bears swarm, and that's Reggie Odin again, Chris. Ball 
on the left hash now. Cox will go in motion again to the right side. Part of a twin set now out there to the wide side of the field. Fake the handoff. Looking right. Cox wide open. Throws it to him. No, downfield they go. And they've got a man. Gordon again. 25. And knocked out of bounds at the 20. Be lucky to get out of here by 11. But as long as we get out of the bear win, that's all that matters. Hildebrand back to pass. He'll run it now. Inside the 20. Got room. 15, 10, 5. Hildebrand slides down and whacked at the four-yard line, but a beautiful run by Hayden Hildebrand, trying to get pay dirt. Handoff, Blackman in the middle, dives, he's hit, stop, into the end zone on the second effort! Into the end zone on the second effort, touchdown Central Arkansas! What a great individual effort by Carlos Blackman! He looks stone cold stopped right there at the one, and all of a sudden he realized, I'm not down, one second effort, <laughs> he leapt into the end zone afterwards, and just a really nice job by Blackman realizing that he wasn't down yet, and he had one more chance. At UCA, students come in with the second highest ACT and GPA in the state, and leave with a career that's second to none. The University of Central Arkansas. Go here and go anywhere. Honoring all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. Every division, every sport, the Learfield Directors Cup. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us online and on Twitter. The Learfield Directors Cup. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are just getting word that it is another lightning delay. Uh, but, I mean, it, it's, it's a bummer, man. Like you said, I mean, you're, you get the ball and you're having to sit and wait. So, so that is what we is, it is a 30-minute delay. So and now it's at least a 30-minute delay right now. Hey, Jacob, you've got to have to do some goes out of the game. They bring in Fletcher, the... Wildcat quarterback, and he is swarmed under and buried at the 10-yard line. James Graves and company leading the charge, and Hildebrand will empty the backfield, puts Battle out to the right side, looking right side for Battle, down the sideline, has him at the 5, touchdown, Central Arkansas, what a great design there, as they emptied the backfield, put Battle out as a wide receiver, all alone on the right side, ran right by a defender, and a touchdown, Central Arkansas, the lead has been extended to three touchdowns. And Cedric Battle's third touchdown reception of the season, leading all running backs in that category. Hildebrand passing deep over the middle, has a man out in front, caught. And it's Jakari Dillard inside the 10-yard line. A beautiful grab by Jakari Dillard after the great completion and handoff by Blackman. They'll go back to 23, and the Gosnell Express in the end zone again. Carlos Blackman with another touchdown run for Central Arkansas. And the lead is extended again, back to three score. Holgerson claps for it, gets it, under pressure. Terrell held and buried anyway. Terrell got held around the edge, and he and Jackson played meet at the quarterback, <laughs> and they took him down. Another one, 95-51 combo meal, please. It's going to bring up third and manageable for the Bears. Handoff again, Blackman up the middle, driving through a tackle, on his feet at the 40. Down near the, or out to the 44, and so a first down and then some. Blackman up the middle, five, into the end zone, touchdown, Central Arkansas, Carlos Blackman, 19 yards to pay dirt again. And that could have been, that might be, the sealer as three touchdowns now for Carlos Blackman at him more than back on track. Throwing the flats to the wide receiver and buried down immediately. And there you said you wanted to call Ware's name, Chris. We'll call it now. We'll back a couple of them off. Throw over the middle, almost picked off right through the hands of George Odom, and it was. And then it was picked off by Trey Smith. Right through the hands of Odom, into the hands of Trey Smith. Interception by Central Arkansas. That is number five for Trey Smith. Bears will leave it where it is. 45-17. They're able to keep the Demons out of the end zone one last time as they win it here tonight comfortably. And the Bears improving now on the season to 6-1 and one with their sixth straight victory. You know, once we, we, we had to, you know, manufacture uh, 
you know, our own, I don't know, enthusiasm, which is what you need to do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, because it is, you know, it's football and you can't count on, you know, you, you got to get yourself going. And, and we did that. We did that with the first play of the game to try to get, you know, some, to try to create some stuff. And then we had the, uh, you know, we had the big delay and all that. And then we got started again in delay. And, uh, but very, very proud of the way that the guys play. Defense, you know, once we, I don't know, once we got going, once our defense gets in a little, you know, uh, it's funny how, you know, offense is getting a rhythm. Our defense gets in a rhythm, yeah. too. Once they get in a rhythm and start getting after the quarterback and all that type stuff, we're, we're, we're pretty good. Offensively, we made a bunch of plays again, I think, in the, in the passing game. And then, you know, we were we were able to run the football. So a uh, lot, of, lot of positives to build off of. Yeah, you guys... You gave up, uh, I think, no fir- third down conversions last week, and then this week, 123, I believe, total yards in the second half allowed, and that includes, of course, the fake punt that went for a score. Uh, yeah. But an impressive well. night. You know, I know you guys focused on finishing drives this week, Coach. A couple, uh, you had the you gadget play out of the gate. It was a great way to set the tone. Tell me yeah. what happened there and, and how well that worked. Yeah, you know, we, the, you look at nickel. Nickels fell behind these guys, right? Never did get, didn't get started fast. Wound up having to win it in the last minute. Sam Houston fell down 24 to seven before they actually got on track. So we said coming into it, we're going, you know, somebody's band's going to play. It's either <laughs> theirs or ours or yeah, ours would have played if it had been here. But, uh, but we're going to get, we're going to get somebody, we're going to get something going right off the bat. And that reverse, uh, reverse pass was big, uh, to Roman. Roman, you know, it's a great throw from Hayden. Uh, great protection up front, great catch, Roman, and, and then run after the catch. So that, that was a big play for us to kind of, we didn't want what happened to Nichols and what happened to Sam to happen to us, which is you're sitting around and then boom, you look up and it's late third and you go, all right, you know, we're, they're, they're, they're still in this thing. Uh, we needed to start fast and, and we felt like something like that would help us do that and the guys executed it greatly. And you finished the first half off very strong coach. Yeah. Two scores in the last 333. Amazingly, uh, you know, we mentioned a couple of missed opportunities. You guys were only two of ten on third down. Luckily, that didn't become much of a factor. We loved to see Carlos back in the mix. And I know Chris had asked you about Kier and whether or not you guys were going to continue to feed him like last week. And you said you never know who's going to rise up. Well, it was Carlos tonight, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was. Carlos had a Carlos had a big night. I uh, thought he ran extremely hard. Uh, Kier did some good things. Cedric, you know, had, had the big play, made mm-hmm. the, the, the great catch on the – uh, the ball down the sideline. We had a couple of one play. You know, that's one thing. We are a little more explosive yeah. this year, a lot more explosive. We've had more one play type deals than, than what we've had in, you know, my first three years combined. Uh, you know, we, we had the one play to Roman and then the one play to battle. I think we may have had another one play. We to had, Roman. We, yeah, we had three one play deals. Yeah, Roman had two of them. Yeah, so I mean, that, uh, that's good. I mean, we need to, uh, and then we, we were, we were able to run the football. They've already t- taken the stats now. And I think I'm uh, looking at the scoreboard. It was for over 200. As long as you can run the football for over 200, mm-hmm. you're still going to get some of those coverages that we've been getting, uh, which allows us to be able to do that stuff to throw the ball down the field, which is, which is really good. Yeah, 230 rushing, 306 passing, Coach. First 300-yard passing night for Hayden this year as well after three really close ones the last three weeks. Uh, One last thing I was going to mention to you, and I don't know if you were paying any attention or not. Um, Number four goes down, number five goes down, so the Bears are sliding up into the top five for the first time in school history, or more than likely, I would expect. More importantly for you guys, an enormous yeah. matchup next week in Conway on the stripes against the nationally ranked McNeese team. No and uh, if if your guys can't get jacked up for that one, I mean, they exactly. probably can't get jacked up. But, I mean, exactly. we're looking forward to it. That's going to be a pretty special environment. Yeah, yeah, it should be. And, you know, that's one that uh, as, I think as bad as or as hard as we've tried not to look forward. I'm not sure that, you know, everybody, uh, I think I've not. I didn't know who else we played yeah. after <laughs> Sam Houston. I knew who we played next, and I didn't know who we had after that. But then I knew McNeese was coming up here before too long uh and uh so that one's you know uh, and we know that they've got a great football team and I'm, i would imagine they won today i don't know they uh, did yeah they cruised yeah. it today so yeah yeah so we you know they're a great football team we need to get back and get prepared and, and uh put together a great game plan we need to play well coach you got to bring your own juice every day bring your own juice every play every day <laughs> only thing we can control is what us and our attitude we can't control how hot it is how wet it is how windy we can't control how he treats me how but i can't control my attitude 
my juice level, my effort on every single play. You guys did that today. Very, very proud of you. Hey! hey let's count them out. How many we wind up? 45. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty-one, two, three, four, five. Yeah!